Hi there! Welcome to ISN or the Interactive Spiral Notebook, a student's portfolio in the new normal. I am Teacher Saturn and I will be discussing all about the ISN. But before we start, we need to have the following. First, you must read the ISN guidelines. This will be provided to you by your subject teacher. You need to have the weekly home learning plan that contains all the activities that you need to perform on that specific week. Third, you must have the learner's packet or the module. Fourth, you must have the table of contents. This table of content is usually provided by the subject teacher. And finally, you must have your notebook, the big notebook. We will be requiring the big notebook for the ISN. Here, I have an example of the junior high school notebook or the smaller version of notebooks that you were using when you were in junior high school. And today, in the ISN, we're going to use a bigger one, which is the big notebook. Before we proceed to the different contents of the ISN, I would like to brief you first about the ISN and the portfolio. Here are some of the examples of the ISN. The ISN is actually a portfolio. Based on Deped Order Number 12 Series of 2020, students in the new normal are required to have portfolio. It can be a hard copy of the portfolio or an electronic copy of the portfolio. Good thing the ISN can be a hard copy of the portfolio or an electronic copy of the portfolio. Now, the ISN utilizes weaker method. And what is weaker? Weaker stands for W, writing, I, inquiry, C, cooperation, O, organization, and the last, which is R, is for reading. Therefore, ISN utilizes writing, inquiry, cooperation, organization, and reading activities. This is the wonders of ISN. So based on Whitman et al., this activity focuses on the student's processing of information in order to build strong mental connection. And the ISN, because of the process of building strong mental connection, it requires to follow the right and the left side of the notebook. The right side of the notebook is for the teacher and the left side of the notebook is for the student. What is this? The right side is for the input of the teacher and the left side is for the output or the reflection, the activities, and the question or answers of the students based on the given activities of the teacher on the right side. To give you a clear example about this, on the right side, which is here, it's all about electricity, the teacher gave notes about the electricity. And on the left side, the student answered a question based on the answer according to this one there is a transfer of charge through air between two objects and this is how lightning strikes therefore in this example on the right side the teacher gave notes about electricity and on the left side, the student was able to demonstrate understanding by means of explaining how lightning happens. This helps the brain by making connection between what is learned and what the information means to the learner, according to Kane. So that's the beauty of ISN. We now proceed to the different contents of the ISN. Kahit ano man ang yung subject, maari mong gamitin ang ISN bilang student's portfolio. Kahit ito ay sa Earth and Life Science, Earth Science, General Biology, or DRRR. Basahin mabuti ang WHLP. Ang lahat ng mga gawain sa WHLP ay mahanap sa learner's packet. Kung ano ang nakalagay sa WHLP, yun lamang ang yung gagawin. Hindi mo kailangang sagutan lahat ng mababasa at mga gawain na nasa learner's packet. Halimbawa, first learning activity, gumawa ng bellwork. Basahin ang instruction, hanapin ang page sa learner's packet, at ito ay magsisilbing part ng bellwork. Pangalawa, word bank. Basahin ang instruction, alamin ang iba't ibang word na pwede mong magamit sa word bank sa learner's packet. Pangatlo, 
Sagutan ang Super Typhoon Yolanda Guide Questions na mababasa mo rin sa Learner's Packet. Kahit ano man na instruction na nakalagay dito ay kailangan mong basahin muna bago sagutan ang mga activities sa Learner's Packet. Pangatlo, kailangan mong tignan ang Interactive Spiral Notebook Table of Contents. Ang lahat ng nakalagay sa Weekly Home Learning Plan ay makikita sa Learner's Packet at malalaman mo kung saan dapat ito ilagay sa iyong Interactive Spiral Notebook sa pamamagitan ng Table of Contents. Lahat ng ito ay mailalagay mo ng tama sa ISN kung susundin mo ang lahat ng nabanggit. Ulitin natin, tandaan na basahin mabuti ang WHLP at ang mga activities na dapat mong gawin para sa linggong ito. Ang mga gawain ito ay mababasa at makikita mo sa Learner's Packet. Tandaan, hindi lahat ng mga gawain sa Learner's Packet ay kailangan gawin at isulat sa notebook. Yung mga nakalagay lamang sa WHLP ang kailangan mong ilagay sa iyong notebook. Kapag nabasa mo na ang WHLP at nabasa mo na rin ang Learner's Packet, tignan ang Table of Contents. Ang Table of Contents ay ang magiging guide mo para sa pasunod-sunod ng mga activities sa iyong notebook. Tandaan na bawat page may isang activity. Kapag hindi nagkasya ang contents mo, for example, dito sa Emergency Contact Numbers, hindi mo kailangan magsulat sa susunod na pahina. Kailangan mong maglagay ng extension. Ipapaliwanag ko ito ng mabuti sa susunod na parte ng ating video. Now, I believe you have your table of contents. Today, we're gonna use this table of contents for making your ISN. We're gonna talk about first the first few parts of the table of contents. This will be requiring you to have your ISN or this one, the notebook. Simulan natin ito sa paghanap ng cover. In my class, I usually tell my students to create one cover per class. This can be done by means of submitting entries for your cover para kung sino man ang mapili natin, siya yung gagawin na cover ng buong klase. Of course, additional points will be given. And this cover will be replicated, pwedeng iprint ng mga klase or can be sent through soft copies. Sample number one, this is 11 Gas 2. This is their work. So, blanco lang yung name of students because, syempre, the student will gonna uh, put his or her name on the cover. Sample number 2. This is again for DRR class for Gas 3. Again, blank lang yung name. You can also practice collaboration in making the ISN cover. So, John Patrick Sidon, Arnul Fokir, and Neil Arman Pintor collaboratively work together to have this cover. Patrick was in charge for the design, Kier was in charge for the layout, and Neil was in charge for digitally coloring the layout. So that's collaboration. Now, you have now your own ISN cover, but now you can use Cam Canva to create, create your ISN cover. So we're done with the cover. We'll now proceed to the ISN table of contents. So, where will we place the ISN table of contents? Saan natin siya ilalagay? So, if we have now the cover, yung cover na sa likod nito, here will be, this will be the place kung saan natin ilalagay yung ISN table of contents. So, that's I, that's number one, and that will be the table of contents. So, usually, I give a uh, blank table of contents para yung mga sudyante na lang ang magsusulat ng kanilang mga susunod na content ng kanilang ISN. And on number 2, that's double I, we're gonna write there the so-called ISN rubrics so that you will be aware kung paano gagrida ng inyong, ang inyong ISN. So that's number 2. So we're done. So kapag klinose natin ang notebook na ito, the first thing that you're gonna see is the ISN cover. Kapag binuksan, ang unang makikita is the table of contents and the interactive spiral notebook scoring rubric. And that is presented in the table of contents. One and two. We now proceed to another one. These are some of the examples of the ISN table of contents. 
This one, sinulat na lang nila yung kanilang ISN table of contents, sinulat yung mga entries. Ito naman, uh, print nila yung kanilang ISN at dinikit sa notebook. That's okay, no problem. Okay, the second thing is the subject learning out outline. So here, nandito lahat ng mga pag-uusapan for the semester. So this one is a scoring rubric. Mali itong na-post ni sir dito. So this one is a course outline din na sinulat ng sudyante. So pwede natin gamitin ang, uh, ang ating papel, ang ating pen, ang ating coloring materials in making the table of contents and the ISN scoring rubrics. So dyan po nakalagay siya sa left and sa right side ng notebook. So, we're done with the ISN table of contents and the ISN scoring rubric. Let's now proceed to about the student and the student learning outline. So, here, pag binuksan naman natin sa kabilang page yung notebook, number one will be, this is a different numbering, numbering scheme. Okay, so number one, it's all about the students. So, depending on your teacher, pwedeng mag-require siya ng iba't ibang ilalagay mo about my student. By for, but for my student, I ask them to write the following details. Include your name, nickname, address, contact number, and so on and so forth. So, that's all about the ISN about the student page. So, the about the student page is actually for the teacher to be aware about the student, student profile and the student's interest. So, that's very important. The second is... Oh, that's number one. So the second is the subject learning outline. So here, we're gonna have all the topics that we're gonna require you to study as well as the topics that we're gonna discuss. Like for example, this one is only for the first quarter under the first semester. So again, it's part of the table of contents, the ISN table of contents, the ISN scoring rubric about the student and the subject learning outline. So we're clear. It's page number two. So we're done with the eyes and table of contents, we're done about the student, all about the student, the subject learning outline. Now we proceed with the emergency contact numbers and my disaster and preparedness story. Since this is a DRRR class, I am requiring my students to have the emergency contact numbers placed on their notebooks. Para pag may emergency, madaling mahanap ng sudyante ang kanilang important or emergency contact numbers. And of course, number four is my preparedness or disaster story. So, kapag flinip naman natin yung notebook, on the left side is the emergency contact numbers. And on the other side, which the, ne the next page is page number four, my disaster preparedness story. So here, you can just download picture of those emergency contact details based on your locality. And on number four, uh, I required my students to be very creative about their disaster preparedness story. It can be a narrative, a comics, or a slogan. I gave sample questions or guide questions uh, where students can actively create narrative, comics, or slogan about their disaster and preparedness story. So that's number four. Again, the pages are at the bottom. So we're done with the ISN table of contents, ISN scoring rubric, about the student and the subject learning outline. We're also done with the emergency contact numbers and the disaster and preparedness story. Now, we'll talk about number five and number six and seven and eight and so on and so forth. Now, for number five and number six, we need to have the following. We need to have the learners or learners weekly home learning plan or the WHLP. We need to have the learners packet. And we need to have your interactive spiral notebook table of contents. And of course, your notebook. So here, we need to look at the WHLP. Kailangan nating basahin ng mabuti ang WHLP. Kasi nandito sa WHLP ang mga importanteng activities that you need to do or to write or to place in your ISN. And of course, the expected outputs, which is a product of what you have uh, studied or based on your understanding after reading the, the whole module. You need to have as well as your packet or le your learner's packet or your module. 
And of course, you need to look at the table of contents para kapag nabasa mo na yung weekly home learning plan, nakita mo na siya sa learner's packet or module, titignan mo kung saan siya dapat ilagay sa table sa table of contents at saan siya dapat ilagay din doon sa iyong ISN pages. Okay, so that's very clear. So, in number 5, which is the bell work and the word bank, kailangan natin dito yung ating weekly home learning plan at yung ating learner's packet or module. So, in number 5, dito daw nakalagay ang bell work. And what is a bell work? A bell work is a series of questions that can be, uh, you can find it in your module. So, it's like a practice test. It's a multiple type of exam. So, usually, nakalagay naman siya kung saan mo makikita ang bell work na isusulat mo sa page. Kailangan isulat ang buong question at kailangan din isulat ang buong pagpipilian. At kailangan mo siyang lagyan ng boxes. Kasi, after reading the module, you need to check whether your answer is right or wrong. Kapag tama ang sagot, lalagyan mo ng star. Kapag mali naman, medyo sad face lang. Again, this is just a practice para malaman natin if... Uh, what is your prior knowledge? Or, alam mo na pala yung topic na yon. So, no worries kung puro sad face ka. It means that you will learn more with the subject. So, you need to have here the title of the page, which is the bell work. You need to write the question. You need to write all the choices. And here, titignan mo dito, bibilugan mo ang tamang sagot na sa tingin mo. And after reading the module, you will have the self Checking. Makikita mo ang mga sagot doon sa ating answer key. Okay, so that's number five. That's bell work. So number six now. Yeah, before we proceed with number six, here are some of the examples of bell works created by the student. So, uh, eto naglagay pa siya ng medyo logo niya for the bell work. Uh, nakalagay din yung week, kung kailan tong week. At naglagay siya ng star. Ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot. This is uh, during my face-to-face -face classes. So, nakalagay siya ng tamang sagot. So, star siya, star siya. Ito naman, bell work din ito nung estudyante natin. At ito pa, another bell work. So, in short, you can have your own strategy on how you will have your bell work. Okay? Pwedeng isulat, pwedeng uh, nakaprint, pwede na naman nakadrawing. So, it actually helps you to be very creative. Now, we proceed with the word bank. So, ano nakalagay sa word bank? So, in page number 6, I require you to have your word bank. My instruction is... Create your own word bank by listing down five words and their meaning on page number six of your ISN. This instruction can be seen in the WHLP. So, punta ka sa table of contents, punta ka rin sa notebook mo, hanapin mo yung page six, which is on the right side of the notebook. Doon ilalagay ang five words and their meanings. Here is an example of a word bank. We're done talking about the ISN table of contents, ISN scoring rubric, about the students, student learning outline, the emergency contact number, my preparedness and disaster story, the bell work, and the word bank. We now proceed with the disaster risk diagram for a typhoon. For number 8, we're gonna have Super Typhoon Yolanda guide questions. Here, we need to have the following. We need to look at again the WHLP. Hanapin natin ang learning activity. So, this one is the learning activity which is on page 8 daw. And this one is the expected output which will be on page... Ah, yeah. Aha, nandito sa ating table of contents, page number 7. Okay, so that's the importance of looking at the WHLP and the table of contents and the learner's packet. So, yan. Super, super Typhoon Yolanda guide questions and the expected output, this one. So let's proceed now. On the left side is the disaster risk diagram for typhoon. Okay, that's page number 7. And on page number 8 is the super typhoon Yolanda guide questions. This super typhoon Yolanda guide question is actually located at your learner's packet. So kailangan nating tignan yun. While this one, the disaster risk diagram for a typhoon is a test whether you have really studied the module at naunawaan mo yung module. Kasi gagawa ka ngayon ng vent diagram based on the understanding and based on what you learned sa module. Okay? So, tignan natin siya. 
unahin muna natin yung page number 8 because page number 8 is located in your uh, learner's packet. So, in your learner's packet, you're gonna see there the guide questions on page number 11 and number 12. Of course, nandyan din yung reading article about Super Typhoon Yolanda. And after answering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you need to write here on page number 8 the questions and the answers for that specific activity. And again, you can check your answers based on uh, the learner's packet answer key. Nandun yung sa likod. Okay? And now, on page number that's page number 8. Or now, on page number 7 wala itong answer key. Ang mag answer nito ay kayo at ang check ay si teacher. Now, this is the very important thing for the expected output. The expected output are actually these expected outputs are actually manifestations of your learning. So kapag may naunawaan ka, may maiisasagot ka sa expected output. Now, on page number 7, you need to understand the module. Okay? After understanding the module, you need to have the Venn diagram which will give you the following tasks. First is to identify the exposure the vulnerability, and the hazard. So, this thing, page number 7, is actually the manifestation of your learning. If may naunawaan ka, may maisasagot ka dito. Ngayon, kung naunawaan mo yung module, masasagot mo ito ng tama. So, that's the difference between the expected outputs and the learning activities. The learning activities can be seen in your module and the answer key can also be seen in the module. But the expected output, these are outputs or activities formulated by the teacher to test whether you have understood the lesson or not. Okay po? So, that's number 7. So, now... Here is page number 7, Disaster Risk Pro uh, Diagram for Typhoon. And number 8, Super Typhoon Yulain, the guide questions. So, this can be seen in your Interactive Spiral Notebook Table of Contents. That's page number 7 and page number 8. Now, page number 7 is a manifestation of students' learning based on the module. And page number 8 is provided by the module. These are ideas provided by the teacher or the module. Now, for me, as a teacher, how... Can I assure that you've learned something? I will be looking for your expected output. So this is now the interaction between the right side of the notebook and the left side of the notebook. Yung naunawaan mo ay makikita ko sa left side of the notebook which is the learner's page or the student's page. And yung mga binigay na input ng note, ng module or ng teacher ay makikita natin sa page 8 which is the teacher's page or based on the module. Okay? So, I hope na unawaan natin ang pasunod-sunod ng ating mga ISN pages. So, again, you need to have the following. The WHLP, you need to have the learner's packet, you need to have the table of contents, and of course, you need to have ISN or your notebook. So let let us look at some of the contents of the ISN. So kapag dumami na yung laman ng ISN table of contents niyo, you will be required by your teacher to create the following uh, contents. Of course, meron tayong cover na discuss na natin siya kanina. It can be collaborative. Meron tayong table of contents na discuss na din natin yan kanina. Very important na titignan natin yung table of contents. Provided, of course, by the teacher. Subject learning outline is the different topics that you will be discussing for the semester or for the specific quarter. Next, we have the rubrics. It can be this kind of rubric or the rubric that I gave you or the teacher will give it to you. Next is the bell work. I have already discussed on how we will write the bell work. We need to write the questions. We need to write the different choices and you need to check your own answer. Now, the question is, paano po sir kapag hindi nagkasya sa isang page yung contents ng aking ISN? It is very important that all the contents should be on the specific page. Kapag hindi nagkasya, maglalagay ka ng extension on that specific page. Later on, we're gonna see. This is a vocabulary or we call it word bank. So, that can be part of your notebook. This is foldables. Now, kapag hindi ka kasha ang mga contents sa specific page, pwede kang mag-fold. 
Okay po, so this one, the theories on the origin of life, hindi siya kasha sa isang page. So, ang ginawa ng estudyante, nag-fold siya. Okay po, so very specific kung anong nakalagay sa ISN table of contents, yun din ang makikita sa specific page. Hindi siya dapat isulat sa kabilang page. So, you can put extensions or pwede kang mag-fold. So, this one, uh, graphic organizers, pwede rin natin itong makita sa ating ISN. So, yan, makikita nyo yung mga creative way on how we use the graphic organizers. Yan, reflections. Uh, in some cases, I will be requiring you to have your reflections. These are, again, summary of reflections. Homeworks or agreement. Ngayon, wala tayong homework, so no worries. Again, handout reading article. So, if you will notice, these are our handouts. And ito, hindi kasha sa isang page. So, finold lang niya. Okay, so this is kernel notes. I'll gonna discuss a different, I'll gonna create a video for kernel notes. So, so far, uh, ito muna ang pwede kong makita, mapakikita sa inyo about kernel notes. So, the kernel notes contain the following, my essential question. And there is a question and answer. And that's the way on how students will write the kernel notes. So, crossword, pwede rin tayo maglagay ng crossword. So, here, nakita nyo na yung crossword niya, hindi nagkasya yung mga hints. So, finold na lang niya yung uh, remaining uh, remaining concepts na hindi nagkasya. So, hindi siya nag-proceed sa kabilang page. So, that's the importance of the so-called putting extensions on that specific page. And this one, na-fold. Ito, na-fold din yung activity. Here are some of the maps, maps graphics, or uh, illustrations. Yan. Guide questions and their answers. We have also the adult and parents input page. I'll gonna discuss this in a different uh, video. So, rini require ko to at the end of the quarter or minsan kapag very busy sa semestral. Okay? Adult input and parents page. Yan, mga samples yan. Teachers input page as well. Nagsusulat din si sir ang mga content sa ISN. And lastly, we have the ISN pocket. So, nasa likod ito ng notebook ninyo, pwede natin itong lagyan ng mga handouts, mga reading article na kayo mismo naghanap para yung buong notebook mo ay secure ang lahat ng pinag-aralan mo. Okay? So, nakita nyo yung beauty ng ISN. Lahat ng nasa subject, uh, lahat ng contents ng subject ay nakalagay sa isang notebook. There you have it. We're done discussing about the brief overview of the ISN as well as the different contents of the ISN. Thank you and I hope you're gonna enjoy making your ISN your learner's portfolio in the new normal.